Wondering why you can't find bounce rate in GA4? If you can't track your bounce rate in Google Analytics 4, well, how do you track user engagement on your pages? Switching from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4 can be a challenge, to say the least. There are some new metrics to get used to, and some of the old ones have disappeared. GA4 has replaced bounce rate with other engagement metrics, but there's still a way to find bounce rate in GA4. In this video, we'll be looking at why bounce rate was removed, how you can still access it, and the GA4 metrics that you can use to measure engagement. In Universal Analytics, you could keep an eye on your bounce rate as an indicator of how users were engaging with your content. Bounce rate revealed how many of your visitors left your site without clicking on more pages or completing any conversions. Bounce rate was calculated as the total number of single page sessions divided by the total number of entrances on the page. One of the first things that users noticed when GA4 was released was that bounce rate had disappeared. Although lots of site owners use bounce rate as a way to measure their success, it did have some flaws. So Google replaced bounce rate with engagement metrics, giving you a better idea of how your pages and your content are really performing. And then later, Google put the bounce rate metrics back. Now, you won't find them in your main metrics, but you can still access them. So what's the difference between bounce rate and engagement metrics? Well, a high bounce rate in Universal Analytics meant that too many people were landing on your page and then leaving without performing any events or visiting any other pages. For some sites and content, it made sense to track bounce rate, but for others, it wasn't a great way to tell how well the page was actually doing. For instance, let's say you had a lengthy, well-written article that really dives into a subject and it answers lots of questions. And a visitor lands on your page and they spend five minutes reading the entire article and then they leave. Well, that would still be counted as a bounce, even though the visitor was super engaged in your content. So to clear that up, GA4 included a new metric called Engage Sessions. Engage Sessions are sessions that include an event like a click or a form submission, or having more than one page view, or viewing a page for more than 10 seconds. Plus, with GA4, you can include Engage Rate, Average Engagement Time, and Engagement Time per Page. If you'd like to learn more about engagement metrics, just be sure to check out our article on the top 5 user engagement metrics for your site. Something else about bounce rates in GA4. While you won't find bounce rate in any of the standard GA4 reports, you can find it in a couple of other ways. Keep in mind that bounce rate in GA4 is different from Universal Analytics. GA4 counts sessions lasting longer than 10 seconds as engaged. Now that means that uh, there will be sessions in GA4 that aren't counted as bounces, but would have been in Universal Analytics. Now let's see how you can add bounce rate to pages and screens reports. Unlike Universal Analytics, you can customize your core reports in GA4, so you can add metrics to the reports or even remove ones you don't use. So to add bounce rates, just log in to your Google Analytics account and navigate to Engagement, then go to Pages and Screens. Now click the pencil icon in the upper right of your screen. Next, once the sidebar opens, click on Metrics. Now in the sidebar, click on the bottom Add Metric option. Then start typing Bounce to find it, and then select Bounce Rate. Now once you've selected it, you'll see that Bounce Rate has been added to the list of metrics. OK, now click Apply. Now just click the Save button, and a drop-down will appear. Then select Save Changes to Current Report. Next, a pop-up will appear asking if you're sure that you want to save your changes, so you'll want to click Save. Now click the Back button to exit the Edit screen. You can now scroll over in your Pages and Screens table to view the bounce rate for each page. There you have it. In just a few steps, you know how to track your website's bounce rate in GA4. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.